Every single piece is like different. One of the more wild kill unloadings I've ever done. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter, so good to have you here. So, this video I wanted to do a quick recap about our epic pottery event over the weekend, which was so great. Thanks everyone who came out. We had something at the event where you could glaze your own pot. So I had a bunch of bisque pieces and then you could look at the chart and glaze your own and then we would finish it and then send it to you or you could pick it up locally. And we have a kiln full of all those pots right now, which I'm really excited about because people picked interesting glazes that I probably never would have picked. And so hopefully we get out some cool combos. So stay tuned to the end of the video until we unload that and check out all those sweet pots. The event was so really fun. It was so fun to have people out to my studio. We had at least a few hundred people on Saturday and another few hundred on Sunday. Um, I did Raku firings, which were really fun. We had big crowds for when we unloaded that. Uh, I had did a live kiln unloading, so I had a pots ready to go. It was just really fun to have all my pieces out displayed. Like we had a table that was just agate ware and marble ware. We had a table that was all Raku pieces. We had a table that was Northern Lights. We had a table that was Canyon Skies. And just, it was fun to see all the different variety of stuff that we've been working on over the summer. And, you know, normally when I sell stuff online, like we have a restock this Wednesday, uh, August 18th, the pots are just like put up on the shelf, like over there, right? And then we take pictures of all the individuals, throw it up online, and then you guys can buy it and we ship it out. And it's so different to think about how to display it and how to, arrange it nicely so that it looks good to the eye and that people want to pick it up and feel it and touch it and then they can take it home with them. So it's fun to have those different ways to sell. You know, online certainly works really well, but it's also nice to uh, do it in person as well and create this annual event. So every August we're going to be doing this event. I've decided it was big enough now and next year I think we'll try and go even bigger where maybe we'll have some other artists and we'll have food trucks and uh, maybe some live music or whatever. So it was just, it was so fun. Thank you to everyone that came out. I also did some wheel throwing demos, which is really fun. Uh, we had people that flew in from Ohio. Shout out to all you guys who hung out here all day on Saturday. That was so fun. People driving through from Alaska. There was some, a couple from California that came. Um, without further ado, let's unload this kiln. This is how it worked, right? You pick out your piece. You choose your glaze, you fill out the custom form, you bring your information over to the checkout, and then we helped you glaze if you want to glaze, otherwise you can do it on your own. And then that was the pricing. So, let's check it out. I have not seen anything in here except for the top row. How about that? That was just a tester, so we had a little bit of room, so I did two different mugs. These were not the glaze your own. So this was a glaze your own bowl. So underneath it has a number on it, and then that number corresponds with a sheet that we know how to get that person their pot. So this Raspberry Mist and Norse Blue vase turned out very cool. Uh, that was not in there, and then a few Insanity mugs that we had left over that we hadn't gotten to yet, so those turned out really nice. This was kind of a new shape for me. I had some at the Epic event where it's like a bellied shape with a spiral on top and they were gone really quickly. They sold quite well, so I'll definitely be doing more of those. I'll have to like, I'll have to put in the bottom what each combo is because I don't have them on me, but I think this is like shipwrecks and something. That's Aurora Green over bright red. So those are both number 38 and 37. I think that's probably Aurora Green over bright green gloss, number 26. And there's another one, 25. Anything under here. Woo! Wow. All right. So I don't know what this combo is, but white on the inside, I'd guess maybe raspberry mist on the outside. This was just a tester, didn't really work. I mean, it's fine, but. Uh, this one is cool. Whoa. That turned out really cool. Number 38, somebody got a really good one. I gotta find those sheets so I can tell you what. To check to see what combo it is, I have to look at this. 38, so I go to here, and 38 is number 480 on the combo, so that's Norse Blue over Lava Rock. Wow, that's quite stunning. Good pick. 
somebody, Laura Schmaltz is the one who got that. That's Aurora Green over bright blue gloss. I've done that a lot. Nice, this is cool. This must be something over Shipwreck. 35, Coral Sands over Shipwreck. Here, this one is, this one is cool. So this is a white gloss over Lavender Mist. Sweet. This one is Satin Patina over Weathered Blue. No, something else over Weathered Blue. Here's a couple more. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at what each one is because I don't know, that's just would take a long time, I think. I mean, I will when I'm packing them all up, but. So far, so good, everything's coming out. So this must be like a black over bright green. Somebody wanted black and green, it looks like. Yeah, so some of these combos, I hope people are happy with them because I should have had a little thing on each information sheet that was like, I understand that pottery results can be unpredictable. There's a shot cup, somebody got a little shot cup. We sold quite a few shot cups over the weekend, that was fun, we haven't done that in the past very often. All right, well, whatever we did here on this combo dripped like crazy, but we will grind that down and figure it out. It is cool. That also dripped like crazy. Not sure what we were, wow. Okay, that's thanks to the Advancer Kiln shelves. We can save those. All right, got a couple bowls. Norse white gloss over Norse blue with white on the inside. Turned out sweet. Here's the black matte over bright green. Those turned out cool. Those go with those bowls that were the same over here. Ooh, nice. This is interesting. I bet this is bright green. Bright green gloss over Norse blue. The bowls were really popular. So I did the glaze your own, I didn't have just mugs. I had a lot of mugs, but I also had bowls too, and they went really quickly. So this must be bright or white gloss over lava rock. That's a combo that's I'm doing a lot, which is new. And then here, oh, this is cool. I think it must be black gloss, bright green, with little like specks of white. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Norse blue on the inside, satin patina on the outside, with some overlap. That's crazy. Crazy. Wow, every single piece is like different. This is kind of one of the more wild kiln unloadings I've ever done. Crazy, this is uh, satin patina over weathered blue. It's a little bumpy, I'm gonna have to sand that one a little bit. Woo, that's cool. Bright red over lava rock. Love it. Tumbler, nice, winter wood and satin patina. And then, wow, interesting. Not sure which one that is, bright green for sure. The bright, the gloss glazes were popular. That is something. I think this is raspberry mist over copper ore, I remember. That one dripped right down to the bottom, which means that we didn't have very much margin for error on that one. Oh, this is cool. I, I thought this combo would be cool. So, Norse blue over coral sands, very beachy vibe, right? Sandy, beachy, love it. Really cool. There we go, raspberry mist over lava rock. That was what we were, we, we saw this combo and it looked really cool when you had those ridges in there. Super cool, love that. This is gonna be really fun to give these to people. And I mean, only a few of them haven't turned out. There, that's white gloss over Aurora Green. Thought that one would be pretty cool. Uh, just a few more left. There, that's a nice one. Raspberry Mist over Norse Blue. Got a few more. This one was the one that my Aunt Julianne did, who my Aunt Julianne was here from Chicago. She helped out a ton and she wanted to do one of these. So this, she actually glazed this one, the whole thing. A lot of these, what we did is we had the person who got the mug glaze the base layer, like they would dip it in one and then we would let it dry and then we came back and did the, Kai, my intern who's been helping me all summer, he came back and did the second layer. This is very cool. Bright blue, Aurora Green over bright blue glass. Love that. Love it. A couple more, this one must have been a set. I bet this is Shipwreck over Bright green, very nice. I hope I almost dropped that one. I hope I don't break any of them. White gloss over Norse blue. That's like one of my favorite new combos. Roar green over green gloss. So people picked a lot of the ones that we also, that I also felt like I liked a lot. Whoa, that's crazy. 
the feel of this is super cool. This must be something over copper ore. So 11 and 12, glaze combination 344. Muddy waters over copper ore. That's crazy, that's super <laughs> rustic. Whoa. Cool, well, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all these, we're gonna sand the bottoms, get them all set up so that we can kind of like get them uh, organized and then we'll figure out who we're shipping them to and who's picking them locally and then we'll get the people their mugs. So that was really fun. We'll definitely be doing that again. I could not have done this whole event without my intern Kai, who now this week he's headed back to school. But I had him all summer. We made a ton of pots. He helped me a ton with the event. Um, so it's been fun to have him. So that is all for this video. Uh, I'm getting ready to, I'm gonna stop making so many pots over the next couple months. And my wife and I are having another baby and so we're doing that. But then I also am thinking about like, how can I be helpful in, you know, I used to make so many tutorials and how to and tips and tricks and I've recently just not been doing as much of that because I've been making so many pots. Uh, but I wanna get back onto making videos that are really helpful. And uh, so if you are specifically looking for any help in your ceramic pottery journey, uh, give me a comment down below and let me know how I can help. What videos you wanna see, uh, what kind of things are you looking for that is are missing on the interwebs? All right, thanks so much for subscribing. Second weekend in August, epic pottery event. Put it on the calendars for 2022. We'll see you guys in the next video.